ஹாய் வெல்கம் டு நர்சிங் மந்த்ரா ஐ ஹோப் ஆல் யூ ஆர் கீப்பிங் வெல் ப்ளீஸ் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் அவர் நர்சிங் மந்த்ரா சேனல் டு கெட் த அப்டேட்டட் வீடியோஸ் டுடே அவர் சிஸ்டம் இஸ் நியூரோலஜிக்கல் சிஸ்டம் ஸோ டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் ரிகார்டிங் த டீஜென்ரேட்டிவ் டிசார்டர்ஸ் ஆஃப் த பிரெயின் வாட் ஆர் த டீஜென்ரேட்டிவ் டிசார்டர்ஸ் ஆஃப் த பிரெயின் மெயின்லி தேர் ஆர் த்ரீ டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் டீஜென்ரேட்டிவ் டிசார்டர்ஸ் ஃபஸ்ட் ஒன் இஸ் பார்கசன்ஸ் டிசீஸ் second one is alshimes disease and third one is amelotropic lateral sclerosis these are the three main degenerative disorders of the brain so now we are going to discuss uh, detail regarding the parkinson's disease what is parkinson's disease as we discussed it is a degenerative disorder of the brain how it is happening it is due to the depletion of the dopamine so in the uh, as you know like all the neurotransmitters it is transmitting through the neurons so from one neuron to next neuron if the dopamine is less in the brain so what will happen the neurons will transmit less dopamine so the next dopamine receptors they will receive only few dopamines dopamines will help to initiate the actions or our motor functions or motor movements so all our muscle functions all our actions everything is um, like uh, this dopamine is helping for that so if there is any dopamine depletion is there what will happen there is a loss of motor functions will be happening so slow movements will be happening if there is a problem with the dopamine de- depletion so this is happening in parkinson's disease due to the dopamine deficiency so here um like uh, what are the main symptoms so as we uh, discussed like it is a slow progressive degenerative disorders uh, caused by the depletion of dopamine and all dopamine will help for the activities of the controlled movements and all that we discussed before now what is the main characteristic features of this parkinson's disease the main uh, features are tremor the tremor um, of the hands and tremor of the legs the tremors will be like a pill rolling tremors of the if our hand is on resting uh, there will be pill rolling movement of the fingers you can see like this movement will be there pill rolling that is happening in the when the patient is uh, taking a rest and in the legs also there will be tremors will be there and rigidity rigidity how it will be means cogwheel rigidity you know the cogwheel how it is so same like that rigidity will be there for uh, like uh, to um, initiate an action or to walk up or any step up or for anything there will be like a cogwheel rigidity will be there the patient is suffering to take a step and uh, there will be ac- akinesia or dyskinesia will be there that is absence of movement akinesia means absence of movement dyskinesia means difficulty in starting the movement so that is one more symptom and postural instability also will be there there are more other symptoms also there uh, like a shuffling gait that is postural instability means a shuffling gait um, then rigidity like a cogwheel rigidity as, as we discussed then um, the facial expression will be like a mask like feeling there is no expressions will be there in the patient's face so like a, a mask like expressions will be there blank expressions will be there for the patient and micrography micrography means if we are giving the patient the pen and paper so when you are write then they are writing the handwriting will be too small it's very difficult to read their handwriting so small handwriting okay micrography and monotonous speech 
dysphagia uh, dysphagia uh, you know already and depression will be there stooped posture like a kyphosis and or stooped posture will be there possible mental uh, deterioration will be there drooling of the saliva also will, will be there due to the dysphagia or uh, like a slurred speech uh, difficulty in swallowing due to that all these things there is a drooling of saliva also will be there so whenever uh, we have we are giving the feeding to the patient you must be careful regarding the aspiration of the food particle whether it is aspirating or not so you have to prevent from the aspiration so we have to give the semi solid like soft foods we have to provide to the patient like that that we will discuss when we are moving through the nursing interventions for this patients so what are the interventions i hope up to signs and symptoms you all clear regarding the signs and symptoms there are more signs and symptoms but um, as a exam part of you only this much is enough the main uh, signs is enough then intervention interventions so here you have to assess the neurological status of the patient how uh, the mental status of the patient uh, whether the patient is deteriorated okay everything we have to check then check the ability to swallow and chew that is more important we cannot give the patient the food without checking the swallowing ability or gag reflex uh, then the chewing ability and all because there is a uh, all the movements of the body all the motor functions of the body is affecting here so that's why uh, we have to check the ability to swallow or chew then you have to provide high calorie high fiber high protein diet so this diet is important high calorie high fiber and high protein diet is the diet menu we have to provide to the um, patient who is having parkinson's disease one of the question were asked like uh, which uh, type of food we can provide to the patient who is having parkinson's disease in that the option uh, was uh, like milk shakes so other options like organ meat all those items were there but that is the difficulty to chew but the answer was milk shake so that is a like a patient can without chewing and all patient can drink it okay like a semi liquid type food we have to provide to the patient which contains high calorie high fiber and high protein diet soft diet with a small frequent feeding we cannot should not give the feeding as a whole in between we have to give the feeding like a small frequent feeding and with a soft diet we can provide increase fluid to 2000 ml per day so fluid intake should be 2000 ml per day and we have to monitor for constipation because there will be the lack of uh, motility problems will be there in the intestinal motility will be less um, that's why there is a possible chance for constipation also we have to assess for constipation assist with the ambulation provide uh, some assistive devices if the patient cannot walk properly because of the tremors and all we have to provide some um, like um, walker or something to assistive devices we have to provide to the patient like that then instruct the patient to wear uh, low heeled shoes so with the parkinson's disease like a flat chapel is good for walking and the position uh, provide a firm mattress and position the client in prone with a pillow we have to position the patient in prone position with a pillow instruct the patient to hold the hand behind the back to keep the spine and neck erect so this is the um, position we can provide to the patient and uh, we have the like physiotherapy is more important here so these are the uh, interventions we can provide to the parkinson's disease patient now we are going to see the medical management for this parkinson's disease for the medical management you i think you all heard regarding the cinemet tablet so in that what is the content carvidopa plus levodopa levodopa is a dopamine agonist so we are giving a combination of the carvidopa plus levodopa why it is giving means carvidopa uh, will um, cross the blood brain barrier to improve and helps for the improvement of the therapeutic effect of the levodopa that's why we are giving this both together com this combination we are providing to this patient what is the side effect of this medications 
there will be sweating will be there saliva and urine may turn a reddish color and um, tachycardia will be there the hypertension will be there mood changes on and off phenomenon mood changes will be there these are the side effects for these medications sweating more excessive sweating will be there saliva and urine may turn reddish color tachycardia hypertension mood changes on and off mood changes will be the as a um, side effect of these medications so what health education we have to uh, give to the patient means we have to inform the patient avoid the alcohol intake avoid vitamin b6 less protein rich food they have to take like that we have to inform to the patient the, who, um, for those who are taking this medication and the second medication is mono amino oxidase inhibitors maoi example is selegiline uh, like a different brand will be there but uh, this one mono amino oxidase inhibitors we are providing the side effect for this medication is hypertensive crisis can occur if it is given with a thiamine contained food so thiamine which are the food which contains thiamine organ meat or uh, like liver bony fish and some wine red wine and all it contains the thiamine so if the patient is taking this food with this medicine so it will cause hypertensive crisis so we have to ask the patient to avoid this kind of food if they are continuing this medication mono amino oxidase inhibitors these are the two main two medications we are providing to the patient with Parkinson's disease so here I am going to discuss some of the questions which is asked for the English exam regarding the Parkinson's disease so first one they are asked like uh, why we are giving carbidopa plus levodopa both combination together so that means uh, in the answer option it was uh, like a carbidopa prevents the breakdown of levodopa that's why we are giving this a combination together and um, among the following which is the si signs and symptoms how you can identify so the options in that it was sometimes i feel like my feet are glued on to the floor if the patient says that my feet are glued on the floor i cannot lift it up if they are complaining like that that means the patient is having the signs of parkinson's disease and um, if the patient is taking levodopa uh, like a healthcare provider is assessing the improvement of these medications how we can assess it that we are checking the urinary frequency of the patient if the urinary frequency is improving that means the levodopa is acting well other question was asked like um, what is the degenerative changes in the brain which is happening in the parkinson's disease the answer was neurons in the substantia nigra begins to degenerate so in the substantia nigra the neurons in that area it will degenerate that is happening in the parkinson's disease and one question is like what is the speech pattern in parkinson's disease the speech is slow slurred and monotonous speech what is the speech pattern slow speech will be there and slurred slurred speech will be there and monotonous speech then uh, among the following which is the uh, signs of uh, tremor which is which kind of tremor is happening in parkinson's disease that is spill rolling tremors in the hand while the patient is taking a rest and menu which menu is safe to provide the patient who is having these medications in this parkinson's disease the option as i told the milkshake the option is the milkshake so if the patient is saying that i think that this levodopa medicine is not working if they are complaining to you what is uh, your response as a nurse so your best response you can tell like it can be disapp disappointing when medication don't work like they used to just you can tell like that it can be disappointing when medication don't work they used to we are feeling concerned with the patient okay and just rephrasing what they are saying no need to agree with um, disagree with the patient anything in this case 
So these are the some uh, like uh, topic which is asked for this Parkinson's disease and uh, which neurotransmitter is affecting in this Parkinson's disease that is dopamine I mean, you know already okay like this kind of questions small simple questions they are asking for the exam and for nursing interventions also they can ask more questions like uh, what kind of uh, activity we have to provide or uh, like a bathroom facility bathroom uh, assist, assist, assisting we have to provide uh, then um, like uh, for the mobility we have to uh, close monitor the patient uh, like uh, environmental safety we have to provide to the patient all these things is important I hope all you understood regarding the Parkinson's disease. If you have any doubt, you can uh, comment down the video. And um, if you didn't subscribe the channel until now, please subscribe the channel Nursing Mandra to get the updated videos. Thank you.